All right, um, this one, I don't know what it's called. Clock Tower, I think it is. We don't play it that much. It's written, but Gammy doesn't like it. But it's worth knowing. So, here's how it goes. Damn, I forgot how it starts. Well, the main riff is... Okay, start with the power chord on the fifth fret of the D string. Down in some chugs. That part, that high little squealy part, goes to 10 on the G string. And then you chug on the D string, um, chug on the A string. And you go down to 9 on the G string. So this is what that part sounds like. And you give a little, give a little tickle. And the fill is so all in the drop D string, drop D by the way. Um, it is seven eight five seven two three. Then you go to the A string. Um, so that starts on the tenth fret of the A string. Ten, twelve, uh, no, ten, twelve, thirteen. So you go up 10, 12, 13, and you pull off an all those. That those last two notes is 8 on the A string and 11 on the drop D. I'll do a solo. Right? And the last second part. Right. Oh, okay, anyway. Go back to the eighth fret. That's uh, pretty much the same thing, but you start in the fourth fret of the A string. So it's four, five, seven. Pull off all of those. So, right, you just pull off five, seven, and then it restarts. Let's go back to the pulling off part, yeah? Um, three and ten. Four. Speed up. Right. Pre chorus is this. This is really this song is kind of metal core now that I think about it. Anyway. Okay. So this is all D minor chord. Start on five of the A string. 
Then you go to seven on the D and you pull off to open D. And I'm talking about the not the drop D, the other D. The one that's always D. So, so five, seven to pull off D, and then you land on A of the A string. Five, A string, D, seven on the D string. You pull off to so an open D string. And then you hammer on or plug or whatever the fuck, eighth fret on the A string. And the second part is five on the A string to eight on the D string. Drop D this time. We're gonna be chugging on the eighth string. Oh, the drop D. All right. Five. Nah, nah. Seven on the D string, but not the drop D string. The higher pitch D string. So seven on the high D string to eight on the low D string to five on the high D string. Back to eight on the low D string. So this is up close. This is my, let's see, it's the fifth fret of the A string. Right. And if you notice, my pinky never moves, it stays on that eighth fret. My frets are small than a bass, might not be possible for you. Um, but whatever, so. That part, um, eight to ten on the drop D string. The new repeat. Right. You do that twice, then it goes to the chorus. <coughs> Okay. Five on the eight. Get closer. Starting on five. All that's on the A string, except for the chugs. One more time. That part, then. Three on the A string. It's a five on the drop D. Then you slide that five up to seven. Then you repeat it. So one more time. That last film. So we got the. Three on the A string, five on the drop D, slide up to seven, and then you go to eight on the drop D string. Three. Three to five on the drop D string, and then it repeats.
Because you can be like, don't like it. Um, so that is Clock Tower. <laughs> 